So you're thinking of moving to Louisville, Kentucky? Well, today we're gonna to show you one of the classic neighborhoods in the East End of Louisville, the Polo Fields. Stick around to the end, we're gonna show you some great surprises, show you three price points that may or may not fit your budget in the three, four, and $500,000 price range. You're gonna love it. We're gonna talk about the golf. We're gonna talk about the clubhouse. We're gonna talk about the pool and the swimming. You know we're gonna talk about the real estate. And we're getting after it right now. Hey, if it's your first time visiting the channel, be sure to tap the subscribe button below, hit the bell for all the notifications so that you don't miss any great information about real estate here in the Louisville area. My name is Michael Higdon. I'm with eXp Realty. I'm a uh, realtor for 19 years now, and uh, I get calls and emails and notifications every day about uh, people looking to move here to this great city of Louisville and absolutely love it. So whether you're moving here in the next nine days or 90 days or a year, please be sure to shoot me an email, send me a text, give me a call. All of our information is in the description down below so that we can help you make an absolutely smooth move to the Louisville area or surrounding areas and all the areas that we um, service. So as I was mentioning, we're here at the Polo Fields. This is a probably a nine, over 900 houses here in the Polo Fields and the, the development on it started back in the mid to early 90s. And uh, it, it is a golf course, private golf course community, 18 holes of golf. And they're having a bit of a uh, uh, rejuvenation here as of late. So they've redone all of the, the fairways within the last uh, two months, brand new Bermuda fairways, and they look absolutely gorgeous. But there's so much going on here at the clubhouse. They've had the locker rooms were just gutted, totally replaced. You'll see a video of the new um, uh, workout facility that they're putting in. The dining room facilities have all been renovated, brand new bar, brand new, whole, whole new dining area, brand new entry facility, and it's perfect for the members that belong here. But even if you're not a golf course member, you can still be a social member. And what does that get you? Well, that gets you the ability to use the clubhouse, to come in, eat anytime that you want. They've got so many wonderful events here for couples. They've got a nine and dine. As a member, they have a luau here over the Labor Day weekend that they just have 4th of July celebrations. They have concerts that come in every single week and they have a really, I think it's a 500 person member for just the social uh, membership community. So it's, it's, it's a thriving uh, community. You have the, the clubhouse, you have the pool, which we'll show you here in a second, place for the kids to play. There is a secondary pool over on the reserve side of the community but uh, just a wonderful facility and let's go check it out we're, as i mentioned we're going to show you three properties here all real estate to show you and give you a flavor of the range of what's going on with real estate here in the polo fields community so come along for the ride we'll have some fun guys here we are at the playground i was mentioning to you for any of our social members or anybody that actually lives in the community come out to check it out we have some people enjoying that having a nice uh, lunchtime snack over there but uh, this is such a busy little area it's uh labored just after labor day weekend and it was the last day of the pool but it's it was hopping so you have the baby pool back here and this is just a you can imagine with 845 over 845 houses here almost 900 houses you've got a thriving uh, swimming community. They've got the, the swim team that you would think they would have over the summer, but uh, full size 25 meter pool and they compete on a, on a high level here locally. Check that out. So just one of the more amenities here in polo fields. We're going to go show you some of the golf course now. Come along. guys we're here at long run park and i know you're probably saying hey i thought we were focusing on polo fields today well we are this is a hidden gem that sits directly across the street from the polo fields and it's 452 acres of parkland and there's so many amenities here you have playground set which is right behind me obviously but you've got a little water park right over here for the kids a little splash zone um, tennis courts back over to my left basketball courts, which have been refinished, but just a really great, again, hidden gem. You've got a huge lake right over the the uh, 
over this way and you'll see some footage on that but this is such a great park it's it's been around for gosh i think over 45 years and plenty of walking trails biking trails um, again 452 acres and there's also an 18 hole golf course that i'm going to show you a little bit of here in just a second but right literally right across the street from the polo fields and a lot of people take advantage of that when the tennis courts the clubhouse are filled up or you just want to cut across the street and go for a run go for a nice walk take advantage of uh, mother nature again it's such a serene setting day or night it's uh it's labor day weekend recording this video right now but uh it's such a, a great park and uh, again one of the hidden gems for not only polo fields but eastern jefferson county so come check it out let's go check out some golf all right guys here at long run golf course and this is a public golf course here and it's i mean it almost butts up to shelby county but it's in the easternmost part of jefferson county again directly across the street from the polo fields and my non excuse me my biased opinion is it's a beautiful beautiful piece of land but this course gets uh way overplayed and under cared for so it's it depends upon how the condition is so if you're a uh, you know if you want the better game of golf that's what we're going to focus on is the polo fields which we've shown you in previous video a beautiful course over there this is again nice course but if you have a junior or a young kid that's just looking to get into the game this is a great place to send them have them walk across the street from the polo fields check out the facilities check out the golf it's a cheap it's a cheap round great for walking um, it's tight, but it's, it's tree lined and it's a beautiful course, but again, just my uh, non-biased opinion. So long run golf course, part of long run park directly across the street from the polo fields, another hidden little gem and another bonus for living in the polo fields. Happy to see you. All right, guys, I wanted to share with you this one section of the polo fields. This is called the reserve, and it's a small sliver, very small piece of uh, patio homes that are built here right in the, the newer portion of polo fields. But there's not a lot of units back here, probably 100 units, and it's a very well-kept secret for anyone looking to build a patio home, excuse me, buy a patio home. There's no more building going on here out in the polo fields area. These average the upper 275, 285 range to the low 300 and you know, 315, 312, I think they've sold for. The last one to sell was earlier this year and before that it was last year. So they don't come up a lot. They're in high demand. So when one does come up, the days on market is less than I think one or two days. But I did want to show you this as an option if you're not looking for a, you know, a single family residential home or a new construction home, there is an option here and I know a guy that knows how to get creative and you know bring people out so if you're looking for a patio home Eastern Jefferson County this might be an option for you let's move on all right guys over here this is the reserves of polo fields this is the newer section and this is there if you look behind me sunny day love it uh, this is the small pool got some photos and some video of that attached and so there's still a lot of new construction newer homes you know less than 10 years old you can see one behind me probably hear the construction going on in the background but again new build outs i'll do a quick ride around the neighborhood show you price ranges you know high fours five six seven so there's a wide range depending upon how much you want to build how much you're your diet or your budget is per se, but beautiful houses. A lot of these are minimum 2,000 square feet, a lot of three car garage, some front entry garages, but most people want to have that side entry, a little bit of privacy on the garage side. But let's take a ride, excuse me, take a ride around the subdivision and uh, just show you some of the quality of the homes that are being built in the reserves here at Polo Fields. Right, guys here we go we're looking at property number one for the day and we're over here in the curry landing section of the polo fields and the funny thing about this property is i actually sold it before it's been about 10 years ago but uh, i saw it come up and i was like you know what let's do a quick video on that but this uh, section of polo fields was originally built by a builder called ball homes and a great product this property is being listed for 335 
and uh, it was listed just a couple days ago and it's already under contract. So um, 335, it's got four bedrooms, two full baths, one half bath. It is on a slab just under 2,600 square feet, which places it right at $129 a square foot. And houses like this and surrounding area, they really go fast because it's such a desirable neighborhood. The, uh, the size, the square footage, the bedrooms are huge, as I recall, on this property. And uh, I think it's so quick when I had it listed before. So it just goes to show that uh, even, even now in this day and time, of course the inventory is still low, but properties are still holding true. And uh, this, that was a, just a great house. Give you a good look at that. But this is typical, and, and there's been a myriad of build, build out that's gone on as Polo Fields has, has built out. I mean, it started in 1996, so you can imagine the, the styles from the front of the neighborhood, different customized builders. Then you get more of a, these are what I would say are track built homes. So they have certain plans that you can choose and pick from, and then it flows back into a more um, custom built home. So you have a myriad of, of different styles, different, uh, different, I wouldn't say quality, but you know, with the custom built home, they're gonna be more expensive, of course, because you can put more bells and whistles in them. But again, this is a, uh, I'd say a lower end, it's not lower end, but you know, just a different price range and different bells and whistles on this type of home. So we're gonna go check out property number two. All right, guys, here we are. Property number two, we're over in a section called the Enclave. This one just hit the market. It is 425,000. They've got just at 24, 2,381 square feet. So that puts it at a price for, price point, $178 per square foot, four bedrooms, three full baths on this one. And it does have one half bath and a partially finished basement to the tune of 900 square feet finished and around 300 square feet unfinished. And this continues, this is just on the other side, opposite of where we were. A lot of these do have basements where the other side on the Curry branch side those are more slabs. And again, this is just a, you know, an uptick up and that shows you what having the, the basement side will do for you, almost a hundred thousand dollars in difference over here. But this one, again, it will probably only last on the market um, three or four days. When I came over here originally, there was only two or three active properties on the market. One of them's already gone under contract. This one came up this morning. So I, uh, you're seeing what's going on in our marketplace and stuff is still flying off the, off the shelves as they say but you're close proximity to long run park and not too far away right down the street from the clubhouse so let's move on to property number three all right guys here we are polo field still we're on the newer side i would say of the of the subdivision and properties tend to get uh younger as we get over here younger meaning this property was built in 2006 only the market 15 days and uh this again it just went under contract i like to show active properties but they're flying up the market so fast. I just want to give you a flavor of what they are over here. This one is listed for 545 so that's upper price range back here and 2,800 square feet, five bedrooms, three full baths, one half bath. So it does have a partially finished basement to the tune of 1,500 square feet. I'll give you a feel for this house. Beautiful house. Corner lot as you come in the entrance here. So for me, not as desirable, but again, that just shows you that there's no inventory and even the ones that are on a busy street will go fast. You'll see from the from the video that we'll show a little bit here too, that as you move back into the neighborhood, there is a lot of new construction still going on here. And uh, that's, that's great for people moving to this area, end of town. Now the price for that goes up because of the supply and the demand and the supply and inventory struggles that's currently going on even in Louisville, Kentucky. So as the inventory has diminished, the supply has diminished, the prices for new construction have just skyrocketed. And that's that's going all the way back to COVID times. But um, new construction is still available. We are so underbuilt as a town that we need probably twice as many houses as we currently have just because there hasn't been new construction to meet the demand in the last five years. But if you are looking, I know some good builders that can help you out. So give me a call and let's move on to one of the clubhouses. So there you have it. That's our tour of the polo fields. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Got some really nice nuggets from the end there. This is the clubhouse once again behind me. And whether you're moving in the next nine days or 90 days, again, we want to be able to help you out. So give us a call, shoot us an email, give me a call. We'd love to help you out. All of our information is down below. Courses like Persimmon Ridge, which we visited before, the polo fields or any of the surrounding communities, 
We'd love to be able to help you out. And with that, hope to see you around town.